above when I didn't. Spira. What the hell was I thinking? Spare rub? Huh? <laughs> Uh, I, was, I was talking about Brea Sparrow. I, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. <sighs> so, um, I don't know this fandom. Um, for those that are, that are probably watching this highlight, um, Mr. Garrett and I are referring to the Daria fandom, which I used to belong to. Daria? Yeah, as in as in the Beavis and Budhead spin-off. Uh, the Daria fandom. Yeah. That, that um, thing that always sounds like this. And, um... Yeah. Very, very deadpan, yeah. Pretty good. Oh, I liked it. It was an okay show. You know, that reminds me, uh, I read somewhere that Mike Judge, at one point, he was going to do his own version of Daria. Really? But, uh, I forget what he was going to call it, but, uh, he was going to have uh, three girls instead of one. And I can't even hmm. remember where he wanted to have it, but apparently at one point, uh, that was going to be an uh, actual thing. Huh. That would have been interesting. And what's even more interesting is uh, he claims to have never seen an episode of Daria. Yet, he almost goes and, uh, makes that type of, uh, show. He it's probably... He might have been caught on the spot and, and didn't know what the hell to say, so he might have said something like, Daria? Yeah, I invented that. <laughs> A little bit. I, I had think, a hand uh, in it. I think, actually, there's two people that say they created Daria. So you could say she had two parents. I guess. I think it's one of those things where uh, there's a few people and they can't really decide. Oh, would they find that hilarious? Me from about uh, a couple minutes ago. Do I sound excited there? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Excited? Perish the thought. It's crazy. I was, back when I was younger, all I did was like watch liquid, like I, I watched the kids shows, 
But I also love to like uh, Beavis and Butthead and all the uh, liquid MTV uh, classics. You're talking about Liquid Tail version? Yep. Yeah, I don't remember. Actually, I don't know if I watched Liquid Television. I remember the first time I heard about Beavis and Butthead, I was uh, sitting outside uh, Wilson Elementary School, and uh, these two kids, uh, they started talking to each other, and they were telling each other about this short uh -huh. about uh, these two kids who were at a monster truck rally, and... Uh, they said that all of a sudden, uh, the god of feces, Sterculius, uh, showed up. Sterculius, the Greek Roman god of feces, you have yeah, desecrated exactly. my temple. You offend me. Prepare to so feel sorry. the blunt of my wrath. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> yeah, what Reese said. And, um,. I was hearing these kids talk about that, and I uh, said to myself, well, I don't know what the hell that is, but I think I'm going to check it out. Yeah, yep, I believe yep. I did, and uh, I got hooked, and uh, a few years afterwards, uh, I got hooked on Daria. Yeah, I believe the name of the ep the, the, the short was called Peace, Love, and Understanding. <laughs> That's the one. Now, of course, before that, they had Frog Baseball. Oh, Frog Baseball, yeah. Which I remember uh, made uh, quite a memorable t-shirt. Which I owned for a while. Really? I owned it until it, got ripped to, uh, uh, until it got ripped to pieces, that is. I remember... How the uh, hell did that happen? I remember uh, I had a Beavis and Butthead shirt in elementary school, and uh, I did not get in trouble. I don't know why. Maybe they were fans, too. Somehow I doubt it. I mean, <laughs> l l let's let's be honest, that laugh does get annoying after a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that show, I mean, I still dig that show and all, but uh, yeah, it is uh, good in small doses. He... And now that you've experienced a little more of the, of the world, a little bit more of the internet, I have to ask, Jeremy, um, have you, have you seen, um, have you, have you seen or at least seen a review of the, <clears throat> the Beavis and Butthead porno? The what, what? Yeah, but I don't even want to look it up. Yeah, Brad Jones reviewed it on uh, Cinema Snob. I thought it was I thought it was hilarious. But the thing is, they have a porno on everything. They probably have a Daria porno somewhere. Um, I've only seen the comic, but I, I it wouldn't surprise me if someday someone actually puts together a, a live action porno, a lot of the Beavis and Butthead live action porno. It was horrifying to look at. Mm -hmm. I would imagine. It probably looks like uh, those two, uh, those two, uh, what would you call them, uh, busts? A Beavis and Butt that someone made that it looks like them if they were realistic? Yeah. Those pictures have been going around? Oh, oh dear Jesus, yes. Try but, to yeah, imagine imagine but, those with an actual body. Um, Actually, don't do that. I'm, I'm sorry that I even mentioned that. <laughs> Actually, try to try to imagine two two jack offs in their thirties. Actually, no, um, early to mid forties, wearing prosthetics and trying to do the laugh. Ugh. Um, I've already seen that happen, and they were older. It's, uh, Patrick Stewart and Liam Neeson. Professor X and Darkman? Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say, uh, but that is interesting. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I just heard uh, some uh, screaming uh, from the other room. I guess someone scored a touchdown. Touchdown in the third inning for for a home run. I have no idea what game they're watching, and uh, quite frankly, uh, I don't really care. Meh. Not really a Florida Gator. Um, for a local team. What's that? <laughs> Go local team. Go local, <laughs> go local sports team and or college. Yeah, one, two, go ahead. I'm not. <laughs> no, really, go. <laughs> yeah, go somewhere else. Or we won't even have to talk about you. Uh, it would, if it wasn't one thing, it'd be the other. Like StarCraft. People still play StarCraft? Religiously. Mm-hmm. I was not aware of that. No, I mean, there are people that get paid to play that fucker. You have not been on Twitch long, have you? <laughs> mm, oh, I don't think he has. Oh, boy. There are... Truth be told, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but truth be told, uh, the only channel I watch on Twitch is this one. Really? Oh. I have no idea about what else is happening. Uh, actually, I know that uh, Samoa Joe, of all people, the uh, pro wrestler, he has his own channel on here. Wow. I have no idea what kind of games he plays or if he's any good, but uh, yeah, well, there's he's only on one, Twitch. There's only one way to find out. To the highlight reel! Class. <laughs> But yeah, it's, um, there is a huge community that, uh, that gets together and does tournaments. Uh, and it developed the MOBA community. MOBA sounds like a virus. <laughs> MOBA is um, multi a multi online battle arena. I think that's what MOBA stands for. Something like that. And uh, the community is extremely viral, virile, or not versatile. No, it's not versatile at all. Mmm, very virile. Mmm. <laughs> I just got wet in my Stop pants. I, I just got wet in my pants. Very vile, maybe? Stop that. <laughs> Stop that. Stop it. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Shut up, Beavis. <laughs> There's actually some guy on that Dari Messenger board who can do an uncanny Beavis and Butthead. Wow. You'd think it was Mike Judge doing the voices. Huh. Yeah, his name is uh, Precambrian. Precambrian. I got that. I get that reference. Yeah, he's an alright guy. Precambrian. Pro Magnum. Carom Dome. So I was going to ask earlier, uh, I got an email about uh, 530 saying that you went online, but I didn't read it until about, uh, I think, around 9. So, was right. there anything I missed during that Not time? Really. Mm, just, not, uh, I, I just played through Mega Man 1 and 2. His... Oh. Yeah, I played you through... You did, uh, uh, the first two Mega Mans without me. Sorry. 
I'm almost ashamed of myself. <laughs> well, hey, there, there's always my archives if you want to watch more stuff. Actually, uh, I remember that uh, Mega Man 9 stream that you did. I can't find that. They deleted, they deleted a whole lot because supposedly it takes up too much room to keep all the videos. Plus, I never highlighted it. Yeah, I, I, I only their videos. I, I only highlight videos to where I finish the game. And you may remember, um, Mike. Uh, yeah, Mike, your Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it sounds like heavy breathing. <laughs> what exactly I'm are you doing, ass. down? So perverse. Well, to be fair, I'm I'm kind of a fat ass too. But yeah, I only I only highlight videos to where to where I finish the games. That's why I actually did Mega Man's one and two again because I streamed them along with the, the third one. But I, for whatever reason, only Mega Man three survived. So yeah. Yeah, Mega Man three. That's out. probably. Uh... That's probably my favorite one. Uh, for the longest time, I said five, but now I think five is my second favorite. But uh, getting back to nine, uh, I remember during that video, I acted as like a uh, sort of a GPS for a recent chat room, which was kind of funny. Like I remember, he uh, had no idea what the uh, was it the Hornet Chaser what that does. I tell him. And uh, there's a few other things that I helped him out with. Uh... All of that, and I still couldn't beat Dr. Wily. I don't remember that. I don't remember seeing that. I don't think I got that far. I think the most I've gotten out of that was uh, Wily 3, perhaps? Either that or Wily 2. I just I remember know that, that um, I just know that I did not win. I remember that uh, what was it the uh, that uh, I can't even think of what the hell this thing was. I think it was before the uh, refights where it was like three parts that you had to go through. You, you know what I'm talking about, right, Reese? Uh, it's been how long since I streamed Mega Man 9? It was that really huge thing that uh, was at the end of one of the uh, Wily stages. It was like three parts. Because I, I, I'll tell you right now, that, that, that time I streamed Mega Man 9, that was the last time I played it. I have not touched it since. And yeah, never mind then. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Was, I remember, I remember uh, whatever that thing was uh, having quite a bit of trouble with that. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I've mostly just been trying to finish uh, other games and get them in the archives. Because that is my goal in in life at this point, and that is to that is to play through every single game that ever existed. Yeah, I just heard myself talk. It feels freaky. <laughs> It, t it took you till now to hear yourself? Yes. <laughs> it's like you're talking to yourself. Or someone else. A sure sign of madness. Another sign of madness hanging out in the Daria form for 20 years. Okay, it happened. It was been... around for 20 years? Okay, I, I haven't been around around for that long, but it's it, it's all it was close. 
Well, I've been around that uh, for almost two years, but yeah, it uh, almost does feel like 20 years. I mean, I, I started um, that October when season one ended. It wasn't on Paper Pusher board because it, it because it didn't exist yet, but I was active in the community for a while. Well, something else. Uh, I also wrote some horrible that still Mary Sue. Quite soluble there. I also wrote some horrible Mary Sue fanfics. Mm. I don't know if they're if they're still around on fanfiction.net, but if you can find them, uh, you might regret picking them up. <laughs> Because yeah, I will admit right here that uh, mm. I, uh, I uh, still do quite a bit of fan fiction. Not as much as I used to. I seem to have uh, slowed down in uh, the past year or so. I'm hoping to get back, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. But I was going to say... Uh, I actually got into Daria around the time that uh, it uh, actually before it debuted on television. But it didn't take me until a couple years ago to join the fandom. And I uh, sometimes wonder if, uh, if uh, things would have been different if I uh, joined back in uh, 98 or 99. It's kind of hard to talk when there's this conversation going on from minutes ago, by the way. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Mumble is kind of weird like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It, it, Thing, definitely things would have been different. Um, we probably wouldn't be having this discussion right now because I was probably one of the most hated people in, in the community around that time. Well, I'll give you this. At least uh, your name... Uh, I don't think your name's on that uh, controversial uh, people uh, mm. page on the wiki. Nope. Uh, consider when it was made. I mean, it was made after... What are you talking about? The show? Uh, are you talking about the wiki? Uh, the wiki. Consider when the wiki was oh. made. Because, I have no uh, idea when it was Because made. the wiki was made um, long after, after I had supposedly changed, according to uh, Ms. Geek. She was like, but you've, but you've definitely changed. You've grown. I, I kept telling her, I have not grown. I just learned to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, there was a time when I just could not keep my mouth shut at all, and I kept getting myself into trouble. It was, it was a pet peeve back then. It still kind of is, but not, not as much as it used to be. But yeah, I, I was... I'm trying to, rem trying to recall how much I was hated and how it, how it could compare to the Lord Cad Mafia. Um, imagine people people hating me as much as Lord Cat hates Spoonie. Oh. Yeah, the, it, it was that, yeah, that remember, level of hatred. I don't me. remember why. I remember uh, joining uh, one of his videos uh, not via voice chat, just in a uh, regular uh, IRC. Uh, he was doing some sort of uh, semi-truck simulator. 
and I brought up Spoony, and uh, apparently that wasn't a good idea. No. No, 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 no. No, it's it's considered bad form to bring up the fellow who actually screwed you, screwed uh, screwed over the, this guy who had a golden opportunity to interview one of the most important people in gaming today, and because he was associated yeah. with that with a uh, channel awesome at the time, it caused some problems. He ended up and, uh, shrugging him off because he practically had the door slammed okay. in his face because J because he was associated with the same people who were associated with Spoonie. But is it okay if I ask who this person was? Notch. Uh, yeah, Marcus Pearson, Notch, the the guy who uh the guy who created Minecraft. Okay. I don't really play Minecraft. But consider at the time, um, this was new and it was hot. And how long ago was this? This was at the... It, it was at GDC 2012, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not that long ago. Nah. It still feels like yesterday. Well, it sounds like it. Yeah. It, won't, it sort of sounded like it will have been from 2009 or something like that. Mm -mm. Well, I remember. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Red Suit Prey. Yeah. I, I remember they had kind of a beef with. Uh, well, I don't know if it was with Channel Awesome, but they had uh, kind of a beef with uh, Nostalgia Critic. Because, I don't know if you guys saw this, uh, they made fun of uh, his attempt at a Let's Play. It was Sports Nightmare. Uh, and, uh... Okay. Yeah, and, uh... Yeah, that's apparently all I remember. Uh, they kind of let it go off to the wayside. But they did say that uh, if they had the chance to do that video over again, they would have. Mm -hmm. Because apparently that was their first take, and uh, that's really all I remember. It didn't really seem all that bad, but eh. I didn't really understand what what the big fuss was about. Because I've played and finished Bart's Nightmare, and it it, it seemed like a legitimate uh, playthrough oh. from someone who was actually playing the game. Are you talking about the original video, not the Bread Supreme? Um, there was two different videos. Yeah, Red to Prey uh, made fun of Nostalgia Critic, apparently. When he did Bart Sniper. I, I never I never saw that, unfortunately. Me either. It should still be up on YouTube. If if I can if find it's not on YouTube, then I think it's on Blip. If I can find the time I'll I'll check it out. I I know I have the nostalgia critic video of of uh, him playing Bart's Nightmare, but I've I don't have the I, I've never seen the Red Supreme. I just know that that, that, yeah, there, that for for whatever reason there was a backlash, and I remember remember Movie Bob uh, making a making a vague blurb about it, saying uh, I thought it was okay. Actually, I remember uh, the first video that uh, the uh, Craig did afterwards. He uh, decided to have like a fake uh, press conference, saying that. He is never going to make another video as bad as that one ever again. So that didn't really surprise me. I have a feeling that he would do like uh, some sort of video response. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like I say, that really didn't surprise me. Yeah, but the unfortunate thing is he's kind of gone downhill. Maybe that or we've just grown out of it. 
uh, grown tired of it. I know some people. I know some people don't like the fact that he included more skits in his reviews. I remember reading that on TV mm -hmm. clips. Yeah, I stopped watching right around uh, to boldly flee. Which movie? Uh, that was one of his movies, right? Yeah, that was the last movie um, that they did. Unless I missed something. I remember I saw. I remember I uh, saw a little bit of uh, Kick Assia. And, uh. I have no idea why I didn't watch the whole thing. Maybe I got bored. But I remember, uh. The uh, bad guy in that movie, uh. There's this point where, uh. Oh man, I forgot what I was about to say. It was something really funny, too. Oh well. <laughs> oh yeah, he, uh. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes. Uh, I'll forget something and then uh, a few seconds later uh, he'll come back. But, uh, yeah, he made it. Uh... Oh man, I you, uh, you almost forgot what I was about to say again. Through your flubbing, you've more or less <laughs> described Channel Awesome in a nutshell. Just, just I a. I didn't realize I did. J just a, just a, a tiny little blip. Yeah, that considered itself big. A tiny blip that's on blip, huh? I mean, honestly, is anyone really going to remember Channel Awesome when they finally go kaput? Yeah, I'm going to remember a little bit. I mean, I don't completely hate Channel Awesome. I mean, uh, every once in a while I will watch uh, one or two of their videos. Uh, it's not something I lose sleep over, but... So, uh... Um, we kind of have a... We kind of have a, uh... A betting pool going on. When, when do you think... When do you think that Channel Awesome is going to eventually come out with this game show? I had no idea they were considering one. <laughs> oh boy, where do we begin with this? Um, they did a Kickstarter to get to raise some money to put together a game show that they were going to have uh, either three or five shows, something around, something around those lines. Um, it turned out that. They, despite the fact they raised ninety ninety seven thousand dollars, it looked like something that was put together for only fifteen hundred dollars, maybe less. High quality construction paper. Uh huh. And we all wonder where the fuck the rest went. You know, that sort of sounds like. Uh, Came back to Ruts of Prey, they uh, have been doing this thing called Kickstarter non-starters where they look at all these different uh, gaming Kickstarters that uh, don't even don't even reach like uh, one tenth of their goal and some of the saddest stuff yep. that you'll ever see oh well mm -hmm. you mean you mean like Cat Simulator? I don't know about that, but uh, I remember they had this one, uh, I forget uh, the name of it, but it was uh, supposed to be a scrolling uh, shoot 'em up and uh, you control what uh, looks like death, but uh, it was an anime girl, and it uh, looked like something that came off of Newgrounds, and they were seriously expecting oh, people wow. to raise money for this. 
Oh yeah. Um, and then there's all the other watch... games that uh, look like they're made uh, with uh, RPG Maker. <laughs> you know, games RPG. like that. that... <sighs> yeah, those are the type of games that they feature on the, this little thing they have on their uh, channel. Anyway, uh, someone was about to say something and I interrupted. Oh, did you see uh, Jim Sterling's uh, playthrough of gender some, something something extreme? Oh my god. It was so bad. You could tell it was supposed to be a porn game, but they tried to whitewash it. <laughs> okay, I just heard my uh, little brother uh, going. Er, 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 I heard for that too. Reason. <laughs> I have no idea what. There again. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, he's so complex. Oh, I can do wow. This. I have no idea. Uh, why. Yeah. Anyway. I f oh, the <laughs> gender change extreme something or another. Extreme was gender extreme. swapping. Huh. Was it ex was a uh, a thing on green light? What's green light? Steam green light is their uh, is, is the indie uh, version of Steam, to where you take a look at games and vote on which ones should be on Steam. And it's twenty five dollars. Not even porn, but Boom. it was one of those things that you can tell. It was meant to be porn, but they whitewashed it. You ever, you ever seen one of those? I don't know, but I'll be right back. Gotta go do something real okay. quick. Okay. I'll be here drunk. I'll be here trying not to die. That's generally the name of the game. Pretty much. That's why we have Until We Win. Until We Be. That reminds me, I need to get around to making that sec that, that uh, follow up that I promised. guy. I'm sorry. I'm a little slow. The rum is not gone yet. <laughs> I forget. Did you see the Batman video I did? Uh, I don't think so. Dude, it's on my YouTube channel. Check it out, man. Uh, I'll be right back. Speaking of speaking of Toby P, I need to go do that. Go now.
Okay, seriously, thought that was Reese talking uh, for a second. What? We still got that uh, delay going on, huh? Uh, the Twitch delay is never going to be going away. <laughs> wow, that rhymes. Yeah, you might have to mute the stream. I'm back. Why are you going to die? I'm a boing 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 boing. Oh, nice. Boing ya boing ya boing ya boing ya. Hit that fucking button. Hit it. Boing ya boing ya. Boing ya boing ya. You know, I just bought something. Has anyone ever done a ROM hack of Super Mario Bros. 2 where they insert the characters from this game? No. That'll be something. Hmm. Uh, what was that one ROM hack that you gave to me once? Or not ROM hack, but custom uh, classic Zelda thing. Oh, you mean Zelda classic? Yeah, I, I wasn't much into using it for, uh... Making stuff, but uh, it was pretty good. Uh, some of the stuff that I played. It's definitely fun for trying out uh, for trying out new new courses. And I will admit, it's it's a pain in the ass to. Uh, to actually learn how to how to make your own, but once you can figure it out, it, it becomes second nature. I, I, it sounds like an oxymoron when, when I'm saying it. Unfortunately, I can't say it proper because I'm trying not to die. Because you're a moxyoron. Because I'm trying not to not to get burned by this giant ass snake. The, the major problem that I had was that uh, the Zelda Classic community is a closed community. If you're not already in the big club, um, you may as well just fucking leave, because they're not going to help you. There's, oh, wow. there's no There's no walkthroughs, there's nothing, there, there's no, uh, there's no guides on how to get started, which is why I made the, that series of videos. Oh, wow. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them in Yeah, they, they sound like a lovely bunch, don't they? Sound like MOBA community. Yeah, pretty much. That's the MOBA community. Sounds like the general Final Fantasy XIV community. I hate them. Hey, hey, um, we, we want you to just watch a video instead of learn how to play the game on your own. Um... It's more or less, the, the way I got it explained to me was that they want you to see the um, mechanic and not to actually learn the fight. See, the, here's where that, 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 here's that whole thing falls flat. Um, someone had to learn eventually. Yeah, I know. They being dumb. <laughs> it actually helps. Well, I don't want to get help. I want to actually do it. 
but yeah, that's that's why Did I put you together. Not be that, a cunt about it? That's why I put together that series of videos and and uh, put out the um hmm, the Easter egg in the the quest that I put together, which is Bomarland. Oh yeah, Bomarland. <sighs> I should. I, I will state for the record once again that Red Fox in our little community, in our little Lord Cad Mafia, was the closest to ever find the Easter egg. He didn't find it, but he came the closest. Mm. And I need to get in touch with him sometime and and let him know, um, what exactly he had to do to to actually get the Easter egg. I think j just to just to hear his reaction, because I figure he's gonna punch himself. But apparently, uh, you say he's our fearless leader. I think he's kind of retiring. He is retiring. He is retiring the Lord Cat persona, and he's making the website more about the community than about himself. Yeah, he's tired of being an idiot for idiot's sake. So, LordCat.com is going to be going away, and in its place will be his pet project, Geek Streak. Yep. And this, this is where it's important for the rest of us to pick up the slacks. Mm-hmm. And I intend to do my part. At least if I can find the time to actually make these to make these broadcasts. <laughs> Speaking of which, I apologize again for getting getting uh, getting online this late in the this late in the, in the year. I think the last time I streamed was early August, I think. Long ass time ago. That's when. <laughs> Insert Star Wars crawl here. A long time ago, in a Twitch stream far away. No. Yeah, I think you did uh, just Star Wars. Or no, Star Trek, brother. SEO. I did do a, uh, a full campaign under Star Trek Online. But after that, I did stream Gunsmoke. A, a a fun little Capcom shooter, which is also um, frustrating as hell to finish. Anyway, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna say, Jack? Actually, I was gonna say uh, I uh, haven't played a lot of Star Trek games except. Uh, this mm. arcade game, uh, I think it was just called Star Trek. Strategic Operations was, Simulator. I think it was in 1980. I remember playing it on, I think it was either a Java site or a Flash site. Yeah, the, and, the one uh, I'm... I, I don't know if it's the one you're thinking of, but there was a vector graphics uh, Star Trek game by Sega. Where it had two screens. Two screens. Yeah, one screen was supposed to be like a map, and the other screen was supposed to be 3D. Yes. Or 3D-ish. Yes. Um, yes, th that's that the one that was, I'm familiar with. That's Strategic Operations Simulator. It, it's, a, yeah. it's a fun game. Yeah, I like that one. But uh, I'm not really familiar with any other Star Trek games. I'm not really all that familiar with Star Trek, to be honest. Uh, I'm more of a uh, Star Wars guy, and uh, even that I'm not really a super fan of, but, uh... Don't worry, me neither. Actually, uh, I don't know if you've uh, played uh, Shadows of the Empire? I, I have, uh... Da Mr. Dash Rendar was kind of difficult to control. Yeah, at times. But, uh... The game's alright. Ni a nice little mix. I believe the last level I played on on the N64 game was I was literally swimming through shit. Yeah, because uh, they had one level where uh, it's like a junkyard, right? 
I don't know if that was the one. It, it's been a long time since I played. Now, actually, I'm thinking of a level that's uh, that was nothing but a boss battle. But before that, it was like you had to jump from train to train in order to get there. And uh, you're talking about Easter eggs earlier. Uh, did I mention the Mega Man 9 one earlier? I forget. I don't know if you have. Uh, that uh, Seth guy that used to work for Capcom, I don't remember his last name, but for quite a while he said that there was an Easter egg in Mega Man 9. And uh, quite a few people uh, kind of went nuts over it, trying to figure out where it was or if he, if uh, it was even out there. And uh, then he left, and uh, it's been a few years later, and uh, they still haven't found this thing. Huh. There are some people that think that he just made it up. They're just messing. He with may him. have. You just troll people. It won't surprise me, you know, Capcom, they, uh, it's like, uh, they kind of lost, uh, confidence when it comes to Mega Man. I mean, they'll still slap him on no. a fighter or two. No, 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 see what happened, what happened was... Uh, Keiji Inafune left there Capcom is. and... Yes, that was a big part of it. Yeah, they, they, they... They they wanted to bury his creation. Yep. It's kind of sad. He left on really. bad terms. It's kind of sad, really. Yeah. Well, we got those uh, two other games. Uh, Azure Business Gunfold. Two. I can't remember the full name of that game. It's a 3DS game, and uh, mm. of course, there's my number nine. And actually, Mighty Number no. Nine working, was a Kickstarter. They're working on a uh, crossover of those two games, the uh, Gunvolt Mega game Man across. and the Oh Gunvolt. Yeah, the uh, Gunvolt game and the uh, My Number Nine game. They're going to call it uh, My Gunvolt. But I think it's going to be oh, like wow. those uh, pre-order deals, where if yeah. you uh, get one game, uh, you can get this other game for free. It's supposed to be like an 8-bit game. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I know about it. Have you, uh, played, uh, Shovel Knight? I've heard a lot of that game, and I actually saw a video of, uh, I think it's it was so good. the first, uh, world. First level, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, it's good. If you uh, want to plug your uh, retro Nintendo controller into your computer, it'll actually, I think, map your uh, those buttons. Well, I got a controller that's like a PlayStation 1. It's a Logitech. So, I don't know what will happen if I plug mm. that in. Oh, I got one too. Uh, it's, it, it'll just be two buttons. And a couple of them will repeat it, repeat themselves on others. So on other apparently, buttons. apparently you don't need that Joy to Key program for this game, huh? Mm mm. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's uh, sometimes oh, when I'm playing. Sometimes when I'm playing like uh, uh, Mega Man versus Metroid or something like that, I'll need uh, Joy to Key. Yeah. For me, I'll just use a program called Xpatter. It's a it's paid software, but it works. Like, does it, it work? It works. Works pretty well for me, anyway. Speaking of okay. Work, if there's a bad thing about Joy to Key, it's that sometimes you can get uh, kind of lost trying to map uh, which, uh, you know, you know, trying to map the controls. Yeah. Oh, cool. I 
I figure I'd show that for the last part of this of this game. Yep, I'm actually playing this on the Super NES pad. Is that the same pad that sometimes shows up in your videos? Um, yes. It's a Super Famicom Hori Fighting Commander. It was made for uh, Street Fighter 2 and other fighting games. I've mostly been using it for, for emulation. It is kind of difficult to play Super NES games, however, because a lot of a lot of the games do require the the, the shoulder pad shoulder buttons. I was about to say shoulder pads. And it's kind of difficult to to train myself to not rely on my index fingers. <laughs> Oh, by the way, these blocks right here, uh, is it me or do they remind you of uh, some sort of black metal band? Um, I guess that's just me then. I, I, I don't follow, I'm sorry. You know those uh, crazy uh, Norwegians uh, with uh, corpse paint? Yeah, I'm not following. I'm sorry. Oh, well. Maybe I should have it, said King Diamond. If only Jer was here, he'd probably know what you were talking about. It's a shame he had to leave, leave during Mega Man 1. I like how sometimes it's like uh, us from a few minutes ago uh, re are uh, responding to uh, us now. You guys notice that? You may want to lay off the acid. <laughs> Pay for that to uh, the stream. Okay, now these blocks looks like uh, some sort of uh, Lucha Libre wrestler. Lucha Libre!
Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a feeling like that too. How many hits away? It it doesn't take much to to take out Wart in the Japanese version. There you go. But it's mostly because you have to you have to beat him four times. How much uh, does it take in the U.S. version? I think it takes six or seven hits. Oh. Yeah. Well, technically, here it would take uh, a whole lot more because you have to go through the game four times. Friday. <laughs> Is that like flipping the thing over? Yeah, I'm I'm flipping this flipping the side A. Understood. Yeah, side A, I think, is where the title screen and the title screen, the ending, and the save data reside. Side B is the game itself. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm starting to get a little bit, a little bit tired, so I'm going to go ahead and end um, this, end this playthrough for now. I am going to get back to this tomorrow because, I, because I have only, uh, I've only finished half the game. I, I have to finish it at some point. May as well do it tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I'll... So, ladies and gentlemen, this was Doki Doki Panic, or is the, or is it's. Refer to in English, uh, Dream Dream Factory Heart Pounding Panic. Bye. And yeah, hopefully I'll be here on time tomorrow. <laughs> ah. He he decides to to do it when he wants to do it. Uh, I used okay. to have I used to have a set schedule and things just got screwed up to the point where I couldn't keep a schedule.